It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Houston Texans and the Atlanta Falcons. And it comes your way next. Summer drawing to a close here in the southeast. The roof is closed at the wondrous Mercedes-Benz Stadium due to the hot temp still outside here in downtown Atlanta. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gunn joined in the booth by Charles Davis. That's CD. These Falcons seem to be in an interesting spot coming into 2023. They've seemingly got playmakers galore on offense, but they may only be as good as what their defense can do for them. And that defense, 27th overall in the league last year, so they must improve. In order to help them, though, they're going to try and control the ball more on the offensive side, try and run it a little bit more and take some time off the clock. Meanwhile, for the Texans, things are changing rapidly in the Space City. They've got the new coach and D'Amico Ryans coming over from the Niners. They made two big splashes on draft night, but fixing the defense seems a priority. And remember the 2022 draft? They took a lot of guys on that side of the ball, so maybe we just need a little bit more seasoning with some of the talent that they've accumulated. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback. The second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. In only two seasons, Stroud showed all he needed to at Ohio State. All-American, Heisman finalist, program records galore. He looked every bit like the number one overall pick. He went number two, but Houston is thrilled to have him. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Disrupting that play and dropping him was Arnold Ebikadi. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them, and that's why they got after them early. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Yeah, I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Stroud here on third and long. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. The Texans send the punter out. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. And he'll take it on this side of midfield. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. The Falcons ready to go to work here on offense. And at the helm in his second season, Charles, it's Desmond Ritter. The Falcons got their feet wet with Ritter during a four-game audition last season, and he did end their year with a pair of wins. Optimism reigns that he is their quarterback of the future. Now the first running back taken back in April, the former Longhorn, B. John Robinson. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. No score after one on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. 
Ritter will set up to throw it. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Now a second and ten. Ritter to throw it. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Robinson will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Back to throw, Ritter. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Desmond Ritter as the first half is winding down. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Koo able to connect on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This one from 48 yards away. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. Right. 
So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the former Cincinnati man, Desmond Ritter. He was able to take it in himself for the game's only touchdown. And you wonder if this coaching staff will ask him to do a bit more the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's we'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Ritter. He's got his pass catching tight end, that's Pitts. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And Ritter back to throw. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Second down and three. Ritter now. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A nice pickup of 17 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 41. Here's Ritter. He'll get this into the hands of Hodge. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Three quarters in the books. 
But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Falcons in victory formation as they take a knee. them take the knee there and finish this one off I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow this was one bruising affair low scoring but my kind of football not a work of art but maybe in your world a little bit of a work of art you I, like the defensive side I thought it was pretty I can't help myself <laughs> I thought it was pretty and it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. 